it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I'm here with my February TBR. How it's already February, I do not know, but given that February is A, a short month, B, a month where the kids have off work or off of school a lot, I'm going to make this an easy TBR for myself because I also have a readathon that I'm going to be doing this month, which will be coming out this weekend. I'll have my TBR for that, and that is a four book TBR. So I'm not going to mention those books now, but just know that I have a four book TBR coming up this weekend that you'll see. So there will be four more books on this, but I am putting technically two standalone books and then the rest of my Sarah J. Mass collection. So I'm not going to pull everything down. However, in my wrap up, you'll see how far I've gotten in my Sarah J. Moss book Throne of Glass series. Just know that I will be continuing that. So I'm hoping by the end of February to have all of my Sarah J. Moss books done. Right now, I have read through The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, and Crown of Midnight. I've just started Air Fire by like barely. I'm hoping to finish Air of Fire before the end of the month and then still be able to go on to. Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and then I'm going to go directly into A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. So that's still a lot more books by her to get done. So I'm hoping by the end of February to be done with my Sarah J Moss collection. But I do have a couple other books aside from the readathon that I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to throw in Dare Me by Megan Abbott because I've had this for a little while and I don't know much about it, but I think that it will at least be a different pace than the rest of the books that I'm reading. Obviously, Sarah J. Mass is high fantasy, and I figured I would throw in something else just to kind of give myself a little bit of a break. So I will be reading this. And I will also be reading, because I'm trying to do a classic every month, The Secret Garden. And this is by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Hodgson Burnett? guys, me and words. Um, but this was one of my favorite classics as a kid and I really want to reread it as an adult. The font in here is really large. There are pictures in here. So I'm hoping I can get through this pretty quickly. Like I said, my goal is to do a classic a month until my classics are all read. So I'm going to throw that in as well as a couple books for my other TBR for my readathon challenge. But um, I've actually made things pretty easy on myself over for that challenge because I don't really want to stress about it. Um, I will also be reading as soon as it gets to my door Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I had a little bit of a snafu with Barnes and Nobles where I ordered a whole bunch of books, some that were already out, some that were pre-orders, and apparently clicked the wrong button for shipping. So I wasn't going to get any of my books until May, uh, which was just not acceptable because a couple of the books were already out and available for delivery. And then other books were coming out sporadically. So History is All That You Left Me by Adam Silvera and Winter Song were pre-orders and then I think I also got Made You Up and that I got in paperback so that's not out until May which was what was delaying me. So I think I like bitched enough as a rewards member that gets free shipping anyway that they need to ship them to me as they're available. So hopefully that's happening and I get Winter Song ASAP because if not you guys know I will lose it. So Winter Song is also on this TBR and then Sarah J Mass world guys you know I have to get through that and get through all of her books. So that's my TBR. I mean it's not the most exciting thing in the world but I do have the readathon and then all of the Sarah J Mass winter song which I'm so excited for and then the secret garden and dare me and we'll see what I can get through. Again like I said short month the kids are off school a lot more this month. We'll see what I can get to but I am really excited about all the books that are on my TBR. Stay tuned because my wrap up for January will be coming up soon and I think I did pretty well. I mean I'm doing pretty well so far. Today's only the 21st and I think I've already finished nine books so not awful. Also I'm sure on February's TBR will be some audiobooks as well because audiobooks I never put into my TBRs because it's just whatever's available as I go through my audio library. Those are a toss up but you'll definitely hear about them in the wrap up. I hope you have enjoyed this February TBR. I would love to know what yours is. If you've done a TBR video or you just have a list that you know you want to get to, link them down below or put them in the comments. I would love to see them. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe, click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I put up new videos and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.